Beth, we've got some more footage here, Eric. Let, let me just say before yeah. we go to this, because we're going to have you listen to this. Um, this is just a little synopsis of our Christmas in Zambia 2005. Um, life changing for um, seven? No, nine Canadians, two Australians, and ultimately a German. We ended up being a team of 12. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> and the, uh, these are some of the moments that uh, we will remember. And I want you to know that the first scene and the last scene are right outside Pastor Eric's church, mm -hmm. and that our bus got stuck in the mud puddle, <laughs> the hole that you're going to see, that the women are washing their dishes in as they happily sing, I have a father who will never, never fail me. Mm. Let's watch. Mm -hmm. Uh, love never fails, and, and, and you know, uh, uh, Moira and Eric, um, the scripture does not call us to be anyone's judge. No. Uh, the scripture calls us to be brothers and sisters and to come alongside, uh, to not ask why someone has failed or, or why someone has become afflicted, uh, but rather just to put one's arm in an unconditional way uh, around those bony shoulders and be the hands and feet of Christ. And you know, friends, uh, there's been a lot, of, um, a lot of judgment out there about HIV and AIDS. Uh, I remember uh, after speaking to one church somewhere in Canada, just shortly after we started 10 years ago, someone coming up to me, fire in his eyes, saying, well, those HIV people, they're only getting what they deserve. Where would you be, friends? Where would I be if we got what we deserved? Uh, come, come with uh, Eric and Moira and Richard and I and Kathy to uh, entire areas where there's no adults to be found, where children are raising themselves. Visit with us, child-headed households, and tell those little kids, four and five of them, with the oldest being 12 or 13 years of age, they're getting what they deserve. The fact is that mankind is fallen, and we are all sinners, and it is not ours to judge. It is ours to minister. And I would really encourage you on this International AIDS Day to get involved, if not directly, indirectly, but understand something. This is the greatest plague that mankind has faced in history. And the thing that really concerns us at Vision Led, and this is why we're working with you, Eric, is that HIV AIDS is the biggest orphan and widow maker in the history of mankind. And the Lord has called us to be a father of the fatherless and a defender of widows, right? Exactly. And uh, also, you see what one thing that encourages me that despite all the crisis, the HIV crisis in Africa, there's still hope. And people are putting their faith in God and uh, they are coming to Christ, to the saving knowledge of Christ in masses. And this is something that uh, encourages me uh, regardless of the, the, the crisis. Yeah. Yeah. And also maybe quickly, let me also just say that uh, this is a festive season uh, for you people here. I see Christmas trees everywhere <laughs> uh, and so on. It doesn't happen uh, in no. Africa. I saw that footage there, uh, Christmas in Makululu, an African child and myself as an adult, I don't celebrate Christmas, not because I don't want, because I don't have the means. Yeah. What is there to celebrate yeah. about in Africa? So I like programs like the Wow Christmas uh, Party because it's an opportunity you give us to celebrate Christmas. Yeah, WOW stands for Women for Orphans and Widows, which is the Women's Division of Vision Led's ministry. Uh, just a final word, friends, and I, uh, I just, I don't apologize for this at all. I'm the first to tell you that if anybody needed to be converted to this ministry, it was me. 
Uh, I was pastoring a large, you know, wealthy church in Vancouver, uh, and I, you know, like most people, didn't give HIV AIDS a second thought. But through a very interesting sequence of events, the Lord exposed me to this thing, and I couldn't turn away from it. And I would say to us all that we cannot gather our skirts about us and walk by on the other side. This is an issue that all of us must embrace, especially those of us who are followers of Jesus Christ. His compassion compels us.